Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Shashanka Rajabaksha from Rajarati University of Sri Lanka, presenting our research on underdiagnosis of severe asthma among preschool children of rural Sri Lanka. Asthma is the most common chronic disease affecting children, with 80% of asthmatics presenting before six years of age. However, data on asthma among Sri Lankan preschool children is minimal. Therefore, we conducted a preschool-based cross-sectional study including all children attending preschools in Andhradipur district. We used the WHO 30 cluster sampling method with probability proportionate to size sampling. The translated, validated international study of asthma and allergy in childhood questionnaire was used with appropriate administrative and ethical approval. Of the 1060 participants, 548 were boys, and the mean age of the study sample was 4.4 years with 448 four-year-olds and 493 five-year-old children. More than 80% of the study participants were born in Anuradhapura district. Out of 1060 study participants, 323 reported at least one wheezing episode during their lifetime and 247 reported one missing episode in the preceding year. 318 children had dry cough at night and 92 children had excise induced wheeze. Of the 247 children with current wheeze, 76 children had severe asthma. The symptoms of severe asthma were defined as having more than four wheezing episodes in the last year or more than one night per week sleep disturbance due to wheeze or speech disturbance due to wheeze. 63% of the uh, children with severe asthma were boys and 38% of the children with severe asthma were four year old and 47% were five year old. 56 children had recurrent wheezing symptoms and 17 children had sleep disturbance due to wheeze and 30 children had speech disturbance due to wheeze. However, very importantly, only 27 children had been previously diagnosed by a physician. The independent risk factors were assessed with linear regression. The dom having domestic dogs, frequent consumption of skipjack tuna, passive smoking, were risk factors for developing symptoms of severe asthma. Having a cemented floor at home was a protective factor against development of severe asthma. We conclude that a significant proportion of preschool children had severe asthma with associated preventable risk factors. However, we detected that over 60% of them remained underdiagnosed in this rural Sri Lankan setting, despite having frequent and severe symptoms. Thank you very much.